guys, this is Animat, and welcome back to the Muppet Vlog. Now this time we're going to be looking into the 19th episode of the Muppet Show, which features the one and only Vincent Price. And I better do hope that you guys know who Vincent Price is when you're going to come into this, because if you don't, well, that's just rather embarrassing in general. Now, Vincent Price is actually known to be one of the master actors of horror, right next to Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee, after the period of the Universal Monsters during the 1950s and 1940s. He has appeared in numerous horror films, especially some, sh some adaptations based on Edgar Allan Poe, but he has also appeared in movies like uh, House of Wax, and also like outside of horror as well, including The Ten Commandments. He has also appeared in Edward Scissorhands, credited to be his final film. But also at the same time, he has done some animated roles that I'm sure you guys are familiar with, including Zigzag from The Thief and the Cobbler, and also Professor Radigan from The Great Mouse Detective. And going into the episode that he was featured in, in terms of The Muppet Show, this is not only one of the most well-known episodes of the season, this is pretty much one of the most well-known episodes of the entire series. And there is one really good reason, because this one truly does stand out in terms of its creativity, in terms of how much fun the episode itself is having, and this is overall great. It's definitely one of the highlight episodes of the entire show. Now, considering that they did bring in Vincent Price, they really did put in a theme of horror into it. Now, I know that beforehand, when it comes to guest stars, like, when they would bring in Broadway stars, they would often put up some Broadway shows. Um, when I, like, not too long ago, I talked about Ben Vereen, and they also did some musical numbers from, from stuff like, um, Chicago with Mr. Cellophane, but with this, they put the overall theme of the episode as horror, where they have a lot of the sketches are horror themed. Like they, like they don't really make it like horrifying or anything. It's rather spoopy more than anything else. Like it, it's more of the the same Muppet fun that you see, but the tone, like the overall style of humor, is a bit darker than it usually is. And also, like it only has a hint of creepiness. Like. The, like, more the environment that some of the sketches are in, like, it has a bit of that creepy tone. But overall, the best way to describe it is that this is just pure Halloween fun. That's the best way uh, you could put it. And a lot of the sketches are actually really memorable, and they're a lot of fun as well. Like, there's actually one great sketch, which is known as the House of Horror sketch, where, interestingly enough, um, one little fact that is, uh, worth noting into that episode is that this is actually the first appearance of Uncle Deadly, which, uh, I'm going to explain this in a later Muppet vlog, but later on, uh, Uncle Deadly will have a full-on appearance as the Phantom of the Muppet Show, which I'll explain later, but, um, this is his first time appearing in this, where, like, He's pretty much shown as one of the more, like, creepy Muppet monsters, but, like, he has that suave and sophistication that we would later on very well know as Uncle Deadly as he is today in the, the new Muppet movies and also in the 2015 Muppet series. So, and that one is just a lot of fun, but even with the other stuff, like, um, the pressing questions, it, it actually really does stand out when, um, they want to talk about gourmet dining, and Vincent Price decided to bring in, like, a world-famous chef, and also a, wor a world-famous eater that might be going a bit too far, but it led to some great results. But I think the one that really does stand out, I think this is hands down the greatest sketch of the Muppet News, is that when suddenly... Um, there is a report about eat, like, furnitures coming to life and they would go and eat people. This is the longest Muppet News Flash. Usually they're just one-off jokes, but this one, like, kept going on and on. Like, this is longer than usual. And, like, all we see, like, we actually see someone watching it from his house, like, the Muppet News. And, like, we see all his furniture coming to life and, like, trying to go out and eat him. It's actually a lot of fun, and it actually turns out great. And... Like, honestly, it's because of this, it's a lot of fun. 
And even some of, like, the little musical bits here and there, like, they don't really have a lot. I think they only had, like, three in total. Like, the first one was I've Got You Under My Skin, where, like, you got this big monster eating, like, one of the little, little mu Muppet monsters and just eating him, singing I've Got You Under My Skin, leading to some great results, and it's, like, a great uh, comedy duo bit in terms of, like, the, like, in terms of, like, Muppet level of comedic duo that, that only they could execute. And then there's another one, it's the Beatles' I'm Looking Through You, where, like, they just got a bunch of ghosts singing backstage, uh, singing that song, and it actually turns out pretty great, and even, like, the tone and the theme is actually a lot of fun, and it does lead to some great results. And finally, there's an ending bit with Vincent Price singing it with You Got a Friend, and that one, that's probably technically the most creepiest uh, skit and that's only at the beginning because like the environment it, it has this dark gothic feel especially when you see this ma like maniacal looking Vincent Price playing at like in this dark creepy organ and then they're singing you've got a friend and of course like you see all the monsters and even Uncle Deadly coming in uh, they're all singing you've got a friend and it's honestly the most fun that I've seen in the entire episode that that one is another true highlight as much as it is um uh w w which one did i say w w it was ah oh, fudge i already forgot oh yeah the uh, the muppet news flash like that one was really a lot of fun oh and there is another one that a lot of, like probably the most famous one that i've seen a lot of people reference was actually the episode it's actually like when Kermit would go and talk a bit with Vincent Price about being a vampire and like how much it like as a thespian it takes years of practice in order to fully become the character and that one is really a lot of fun but there is uh, going back into you've got a friend there is actually one weird little thing about it and this is not regarding the episode itself this is actually regarding the DVD um, for some reason, like, if you have this DVD, it does not include You've Got a Friend. Now, this may have happened in one previous episode before, but this is, like, you, You've Got a Friend is actually one of the very few, uh, skits that, like, that were, in, that was in The Muppet Show that, for this DVD, that they had to take out. And mostly the reason has to do with copyright issues, and they couldn't get the rights to the song, so they decided to take out... That entire bit which really is too bad because like that is one of the most definitive moments that where they successfully blend like the horrors of Vincent Price and also the kookiness of the Muppets that's definitely great like maybe there are like the only negatives that I, w I would have to put in is like maybe there are a few like you know like a few sketches that they don't really work as well like yeah at like at the dance you know it's kind of a mixed result and like they also got that little dumb house bid that's just a one-off joke but now there is one more thing that i forgot to mention throughout this whole time there are just so many memorable moments but there's also the backstage story where kermit is unsure about bringing in this three-headed monster to go and do an act for the show and like, they, they pretty much introduce this uh, three-headed monster. Unfortunately, he only appears for that one episode, but it, it does, um, it is pretty funny to see, uh, so, like, some results of how, like, this three-headed monster, they don't really agree with each other, but, like, they always think up of, like, all the different acts that they can do, and it, it, it's always, you know, it's really a lot of fun, and it does, you know, it does lead to some cute results. It's not really the one that really stands out the most as much as what's going on on stage in The Muppet Show, but, you know, it, it's definitely a nice addition with what's really going on. So, overall, this truly is one of the must-watch episodes of The Muppet Show. It really is fantastic. Not only do they successfully capture the spirit of the special guest star and the overall tone of, like, what the special guest star represents and what he does and all that kind of stuff, it's definitely fantastic. But at the same time, um, you really see a lot of creative bits from the Muppets. They have never, like, honestly, this is one of the moments where they've truly been the most creative when it, when it comes to their skits and all that kind of stuff. Um, great musical numbers, a lot of memorable moments. This truly is something that you really got to see. In fact, this could actually be perfect to check out uh, during the Halloween time. Like, if you're not really in the mood for something that's really scary, but 
you want something that's a bit quick that's a lot of fun you know that's really enjoyable this is definitely the episode that you got to go with this is truly amazing and truly one of the real standout episodes of the entire series not just the season but the series but anyways that is pretty much it so i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this episode truly was a blast and hopefully uh maybe we will see more episodes that are as great as the vincent price one so i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and until next time see you later dudes